Hey all, welcome back to uh, Beer Snob Reviews. I like to drink beer, I like to tell people my opinion, thus I started Beer Snob Reviews. I call it Beer Snob Reviews because people call me a beer snob because I like to drink what I like to drink and I don't like to drink what I don't like to drink. And I hope you all feel the same way. Today we're going to be comparing some uh, iconic beers. Uh, I've got Firestone's Double Barrel Ale. Classic Amber Ale, and I've got Fat Tire, I got New Belgium's Fat Tire Amber Ale. Uh, these are two iconic beers for their respective brewers. They are in the Amber Ale family, and I thought this would make a great pairing. The Amber Ale style actually is an American style. It comes out, it's a, a descriptive term <clears throat> that comes uh, because... We were making pale ales, and then they started to make some uh, uh, of these more darker ales that are akin to an English bitter ale or an ESB ale. From, uh, and the, the darker color threw off the American consumer. They're considered in a pale ale family, but they're not that lighter straw color of most of our pale ales are. Ah. Uh, and so the brewers decided to call them Amber Ales to give the uh, consumer a better understanding of what it was. That Amber Ale umbrella term came to fit all of uh, the darker color ales, including the Red Ales, the Irish Ales, and all of those ales. Uh, they tend to be a little, uh, uh, they tend to have a little more caramel, a little more toffee to them. Uh, they tend to be a little more malty. Uh, they've got a bit of a hop backbone. Um, the American, compared to the English, tend to be a little more hoppy. Uh, which is typical of the American craft beer community. They are, but they're not nearly as bitter as like our iconic IPAs. So they come in around 30 IBUs or so. Uh, and so calling them an English bitter, I think, would confuse the American consumer. So they call them the Amber Ale. They tend to be a little lighter in alcohol as well, somewhere between four and a half to six and a half. We're going to start today with the Fat Tire, Fat Tire Amber Ale. It's their their founding beer. The story comes that they were uh, the founders were on a bike tour in Belgium, sampling the beer there, and got inspired to create their own company. And thus, they called the term they called the uh, beer Fat Tire. And they've got the uh, you can see the the bicycle on the the emblem there. Uh, surprisingly, for calling it a coming from a Belgian tour and calling their company New Belgian. It leans more English than Belgian, but that's all right. It comes in at 5.2 ABV. It's a mild 22 IBUs. The website indicates that it's got pale and Munich uh, hop malts in it and Willamette nougat hops. So let's open this up and see what we got here. Uh, I can say that on the bottle it says enjoy by uh, August 2nd, 2020. You can see it's pouring out very nicely. And you got that amber color, darker than you would with a regular pale ale or what we would typically think of as a regular pale ale. Just about a half finger of foam on it. Uh, clarity on that, let's see if I can get that. You can see just a little bit, it's a little cloudy. And we've got some bubbling going on there. Some effervescence on it coming on. You're seeing initially very much kind of that toffee sweetness, malty sweetness coming off of the nose on it. Letting it warm up just slightly. Yeah, you can. It's the sweetness that you're getting, much less than you would out of a out of a more hoppy IPA beer. On the mouth feel, you get quite a bit of the carbonation, the tingling on the tongue. I'm getting that. Coffee, coffee flavor. Not coffee, toffee. Sweet. It's 
very very mild. You not not tasting the alcohol. Finishes nicely. Little sweetness at the end. There's a reason they've been making this since the uh, the late '80s. There's a reason it's been it's held up. It's it's a solid solid beer that's easy drinking uh, for somebody coming in into the craft beer community. This is a great entry level beer. Uh, it's very easy to get into. It's not overwhelming. It's mild, slightly sweet. If anything, it's a little sweeter than I would like it to be. I wish there was a little more bitter coming in on it. So that is the uh, the new Belgian fat tire. It's a good solid beer. Easy drinking, something you'd want to do when you just want to sit around and enjoy a few. Now let's go to the Firestone, the DBA. Firestone DBA, DBA stands for the Double Barrel Ale. It is their first brew, brewed in 1996. Uh, again, it is an English style. The, the, the website indicates that it's a nod to the cask fermented brews of, uh, of England. It's, uh, it's coming in at uh, 5.0 ABV and 30 IBUs. Uh, and the double barrel ale comes from the process of which they barrel, uh, which they make this brew. They actually barrel aged some of this. They do about twenty percent barrel aged, and then they they put that and mix it together uh, with the other ones to create their brew. Let's see how this pours. It has a brewed on date on the bottle of 320, 19, uh, Getting a little more head on that than the fat tire, but not much. Slightly more amber in color, just slightly darker. Nice effervescence on it. Golden color. The <clears throat> hops that they have on this, it's unusual as Styrian Golding and traditional. The malts is a variety of malts, including chocolate malt and Munich. Hmm. The nose on this, it's, it's a little more yeast that I'm getting than I was out of the fat tire. It's darker, it's woodier, earthier. A little bit of spice coming on. It's a little more complex than I was getting out of Fat Tire. This does not have the tingling, the effervescence, as much as the Fat Tire does. Uh, the the mouthfeel it's a little milder. It's a more bitter than the fat tire. It's not nearly as sweet. There's a little more earthiness to it, woodiness to it, but not bad. More complex. I think we're getting more of that. The uh, the cask the the barrel aging with it. You, you get a little more of that wood coming into it, and it's adding a little more depth, a little more flavor to this. It finishes cleanly, just a little cloyingness at the end, a little bitterness at the end. This is this is a very nice beer. Again, it's it's not overwhelming. It's fairly mild. It's uh, it's an easy drinking beer. It is the kind of beer that if you're going to sit around with your friends and have a few and, and chat, this is the kind of beer that you'd want to have. Uh, maybe at the, end of a, at the end of a day working outside, you want to have a few, have it at the barbecue. This is the kind of beer that you'd want. Either one of these uh, is the kind of beer that you would want. But boy, I'm leaning towards this DBA. To me, there's just more presence to it. There's more flavor to it. 
the fat tire. It's a little sweeter, it's a little lighter, there's just less to it. Now, relatively speaking, these are both mild, very easy drinking ales. Uh, so it's not that different between them, uh, but the nod for me goes to the Firestone. Hey, as always, drink the beer that you like, and for me, cheers.